Run to Lessing Mercy, run! Fall Ramaposa, fall! Fall Ramaposa, fall! Fighters, you must never be too peaceful. We said that street must not be operational. So you must block that street. Don't allow police to do your work. That street there must be blocked. There must not be any car which passes on that street. So my work here at DSG, thank you very much. It's very simple. So mine is to introduce the leadership of the region. They must just come in front here so that I see them. So we have fighter Cladiolas Mabuela. She can just wave from the ground. We also have fighter Nukumkhana. We have also fighter Lindiwe Masilela. We also have also the member of the region, fighter Rebecca Molope. We also have fighter fightress Maggie Moyana. We also have fighter Brenda Pugile. Nalaape organize Ayari Gini, fighter John Lohotwani. Nalaape Ndatomu Wemo Kiso Lima Tuati. We also have the... I just want to make sure that all our city members, because before I go to officials, are completed. Now we also have the treasure of the region, fighter over gang, Ramamudu. We also have the secretary of the region, uh, fighter Nobilem Kongo. Rina Hapeli, uh, fighter, the deputy chair of the region, Leofili Shaban, who's also in charge of the labor desk in Swan. So anything related to labor, the deputy chair of the region is available for you and his phone is 24 hours. So if you don't see him, you can just, he's wearing a green cap with a star of Che Guevara. You can go, go, go to him when we proceed with the march. Now, without a waste of time, I'm going to now hand over to the Deputy Secretary of the province to introduce the members of the province. Fighter Hupelo Holo, come and introduce the member. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Amanda. Uh, my task is very simple. I'm going to introduce the members of the provincial command team. We have fighter Philip Magwala. Where is fighter Philip? Okay, and also I'm going to introduce the acting chair of the entire province of Hawite, fighter Itani Mokwe. Okay, apologies, fighters. We are also joined by the PCT member, Gumsa Fighter Malisen. Manda. Manda. Awe, two. Thanks very much, fighters. Terekidu made the province in your county. I can't get in Namula Studio. But I'm worried to live in Africa today because he's leading the program with our Commissar Sengiwem Kalipi and our National Coordinator. I'm still here in this province. I told you when we started this program to say the province of Gauteng led by myself we are going to be behind the workers and we are not going to allow the police that side. Police who are busy pushing our members there at the street. I'm coming at the back now so that you can see me properly because this is our march, our people here in this province they are calling us every day. They are saying they are looking for their money, the UFM money, UIF money, which they want, which they work for very hard. And on today, Mona, the province of Iona, Mosadiwa Lekhoa, Baruto Namelamu, Karyena Ho, 
Agasna Mele Mo, Commissar Nakarle, Wona Kerry, Yona Yana Mela Mo, Mosadua Lokua, Kiso Tabula Fasna, Amanda, Awe, Tu, Mata. Manda, Awe Tu, Hai Hule, EFF, Hai Hule, Hai Hule, EFF, Hai Hule, Hare Tuare, Julius Malema, Hare Tuare, Hare Tuare, Commander in Chief, Hare Tuare, Amanda, Awe Tu, Fote, Tula Singlese, Fote, Fote, Tula Singlese, Fote, Protect the corruption of labor for tech. Protect the corruption of labor for tech. Thank you very much, uh, comrades. My name is Commissar Mpo Morolan. My task is very simple here, is to introduce members of the Central Command Team of the EFF. I'm going to start with the doctor here. Dr. Matita Ella, who is the Commissar from the Central Command Team of the EFF. Commissar, let them see you. Amanda! I'm going to introduce Mpokoto, a tried and tested fighter, who is the coordinator of the EFF labor desk. When we have issues of labor, because in the Republic of South Africa we don't have trade unions, the only organization that cares and loves and can assist the workers is the Economic Freedom Fighters. The doors of the Economic Freedom Fighters labor desk, they are open in all the regions in the Republic of South Africa. They are open in all the provinces of the Republic of South Africa. We say the labor desk because there's no unions in the Republic occupy that space so that we can make sure that the needs of the workers in this country are there too. Comrades, I'm going to now introduce the leader who is leading us today, our own commissar who's been with the EFF. She's a former DSG of this organization who has done a sterling work in her own term. That's why the organization deemed it appropriate that she must be the one leading the EFF labor test. Comrades and friends, I'm going to introduce our own commissar, Bokoto. Comrade, thank you, M. Khalid, Amanda. Away to. Thank you very much. Amanda. Amanda. I am Nizu. I'm number number seven. I'm number number fake. Finam Sebenzi Fina! Finam Sebenzi Fina! Panzi no Mwangunu Panze! Panzi na ma capitalist Panze! Pambili na ba Sebenzi Pambili! Thank you very much, Commissar uh, Mpo. Uh, we are here at Department of Labor at UIF section. We are going to hand over memorandum to the acting DG. We are told that Director General of the Department, he is not well. He sent the acting DG, who is a senior commissioner, to come and listen to Basebenzi. We must tell the department that we are coming here peacefully today. We know very well that the department have been failing Abandu to Basa South Africa. That's why we said today, let us come and give them this memorandum to say to the department, we came here peacefully just to give you this thing, but we are expecting you to respond to us within seven days. It's the only region of Tuane who have said, let us go with workers. If the department is not responding in seven days, we are going to come with the whole of the country to shut down the Department of Labor. The reason being is very simple, workers. We don't get our money that is due to us. That is tears money. 
When the country went to lockdown in March, the ANC, which is a failing ruling party to rule this country, they were chacharak and announced the, the, the intervention in the name of terrorists. They said that each and every Msebenzi in this country is going to receive terrorist money because they know that they have failed this country. The rate of unemployment in this country is very high. They said no one must go hungry every day. But what the department has done, they have allowed the capitalists in the name of companies to claim on behalf of the workers. And the money have not reached the workers. Every day in the leopard desk, in the EFF offices, we get complaints, the cries of our people crying about their monies. Yesterday alone, we went to a company uh, called Pharmacy Direct with the Commander-in-Chief because workers there, they told us, EFF, this company have claimed on our behalf, but we have not received our money. When do we want our answers from the capitalists, from the companies, they don't want to give us answers. So therefore, we went there with Commander-in-Chief to listen to the workers. It was clear that the money was claimed by that particular company, and the company didn't give it to workers. Therefore, yesterday we said to them, take back the money of the workers. This money must go to the workers. So today, the reason why we are here, we want the department to tell us which are the campus have claim on behalf of the workers. But money does not have reach you as the workers. Every day you don't have anything to eat. You have families. You have kids who want to eat on every day. But you don't know what to give to them because the money has not reached you. But the company that you work for have claim on your behalf. Before we roll out our program, comrades, because this is the first program, we are going to visit each and every company that does not want to pay you, as Commander-in-Chief has alluded to that fact. But the first step is to come here to the department to say, Baba, Mama of the department, give us the list. You are the one who's paying the companies. There's no way that you don't know whom did you pay on our behalf. Because these companies, when they pay, when they claim from the UIF section, they use your ID numbers. They use your names. So the department proceed with the payment on your behalf. But when you, workers, when you complain that I have not received my money, the department can't protect you. This, uh, Commissioner Marsha, you know very well, we speak every day, me and yourself. I even went to two companies already there, Eguruli, and one company told me that the problem is in the department. I called, this, uh, M -A, I called Commissioner Marsha to say that, please, on Monday, I want labor inspectors to come with me, because what is happening? Labor inspectors, they fail to go and clarify the issue of terms at a company level. They come once and they do jiga 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 jiga, then they're gone. Workers, they left stranded. That's why you are saying here, yeah. point number one, give us the list of the campus that you, you have paid. Secondly, tell us why the labor inspectors are failing to make a follow-up when there is a complaint in a particular company. Thirdly, we are saying to you, please make sure that you don't want to get a visit again from the EFF because it's not going to be nice. So therefore, before I read what are the demands in full, I just want to take this opportunity also to recognize workers who are here with us, workers from Servest, who are here. Where are the workers from Servest? Uh, there are workers from Celsi who are here with us. Down with Celsi, down. There are workers from Swissport. They are here, they have joined us because they have also issues of their terms, Marsha. There are workers from Tuane Varsity Lodge. Marsha, there are workers from LSC and Labor. And those workers were supposed to come to you on Monday.
God, because I talk to Masha, I talk to her every day. I said to him, to her, Masha, please check for me. What is happening with the issue of LSC? And she told me that there was an investigation that was taking place here at the department, but they are ready to pay you. That's why EFM Labor Desk didn't proceed with that visit. So Masha, when, when she speaks here, she's going to elaborate on that uh, issue of NSC. We recognize all of you who are here workers. We are saying we are with you all the way. We are here because we love you as workers. We have formed EFF because we wanted to protect you. There is no other organization in South Africa that is protecting workers like the EFF. So we are going to, to, to work with you all the way. Just hold on, National Coordinator. Department of Labor, Marsha Commissioner, Acting DG, we have just not many demands, only five demands, and it's not too much to ask. First demand, the EFF demands that a report be issued of all companies who defrauded the system. That is the first demand. The second demand, the EFF demands that tell system be reopened as we are still within COVID-19 level one. We heard that the minister have said, no, so it open tear system until COVID is completely gone in our life. Demand number three, the EFF demands a speedily resolution to all complaints that were laid by the workers. There are so many complaints. We have a labor desk that is operating 24 hours on our side. We receive plus or minus 10,000. 10,000 calls WhatsApp every day as the EFF labor desk. This is not our job. This is the job of the department. Your system is failing our people. That's why our people are coming to EFF to complain. So we are demanding that please Please make sure that your system is up and running. You know very well, I was here on Friday, Masha. I went and conduct and consult with those people who are on the labor. Here, yeah, on the, uh, what do you call this thing when you call? Call center. You are operating with 42 staff. Yes, your comrades. The whole department call center, when you call, you want to know what is the best. The department is operating with 42 bodies. 42. And what, what is the population of the country? Plus or minus 3 million have lost their employment since COVID. Before COVID-19, 31% of the population, which is 54 million, already have crisis in terms of the economy. How can the national department operate with 42 staff? And they get calls left and right, they ended up not servicing the people. So the department must resolve that. We can't operate with 42 staff. It's worse now during the COVID, they operate with 22 staff. When you call, you are expected to be serviced by 22 people in the whole country of the nation that is undergoing of the problem of unemployment. The fourth one, the EFF demands that the Labor Department ensures that outstanding amounts are paid immediately to workers. EFF has already given you 48 hours to the companies and we want to give you 48 hours as well as a department to pay those people who are not paid because when you go to those companies, they are saying we have applied but we don't get any feedback from the department. Please release the money of workers. This is not your money. It's the money of the workers who have worked for this money. The fifth, which is the last one, the EFF demands that all companies who are fraudsters, who are fraudsters, let me repeat that, there are companies that who are fraudsters be made public as a matter of agency. We want you to name and shame them. A sick and tired of corruption.
and we can't tolerate a department who's going to hide from stars here. We are dealing with the corruption and the department must assist us to name those companies who are fraudsters. To you, Commissioner Marsha. I don't know if you are going to come here. We are going to lift you. I shame. I wait for break. Comrades, just sit down so you can see here. Thank you, thank you. I was just saying. Fighters, I shall depart the Ibam Boom Teto. Let's sit down, but let me. I shall depart the Ibam Boom Teto. Just sit down, make yourself comfortable. This is our street. We want to hear from here about our demands so we, do, we are not rushing anywhere otherwise we came here for free comrades Sharon pants sit down comrades leadership, leadership sit down I was saying that a young man couldn't get up, so an old lady will definitely not make it to the to the back of the bucky. But thank you very much for for that. The the department and the UIF takes your concerns very seriously. And as I was looking around, I saw some names that we are working with to pay, like LEC, like Betvest, and so on because we know there are challenges, there have been challenges in those companies. So we are clearing that so that we can pay. Apart from the fact that I'm here as an official, I'm also a mother, and I wouldn't want my children to go to bed hungry, and none of you I want to go to bed hungry. So we are doing our best to pay as fast as we can, like the LECs, the Bitwest, Swissport, and so on. Uh, the list of the uh, report of all the companies who defrauded the system and all the issues around the fraud, we are busy with those investigations. You would have seen that 13 companies have already been arrested or the CEOs of these companies have been arrested. And there is another 70 coming, hopefully by the end of this or next week. So, but it, you will appreciate that we have to work through everything and make sure because we also don't want to put people in prison who don't deserve to be there. But those who deserve to be in prison will go to prison. Because we cannot, we cannot have a situation where the monies of the UIF is defrauded. So we will make sure that everyone who deserves to go will go to prison. I take note of the resolution of the complaints and I will discuss this with all the people in the provinces to make sure that they pay attention to this, given the fact that we have people who are going hungry and who are destitute sometimes. The money that is due to workers, we pay up to 750,000 payments a day. So you'll appreciate that it goes. We are now working on the August-September payments. The payments that are outstanding for the outer months is because they are challenges. But we have a team working on that to make sure that people get their money. And the companies who are approached this, once they have been found guilty in the court, we will definitely make their names uh, uh, available and we'll make a big noise about it. Because we cannot afford to have people. So I'm going to take this and give it and, and work on it diligently to make sure that we address all the concerns that you have. Uh, in, in terms of this uh, memorandum, thank you. Saina, Marsha, Saina! 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 Saina!
Musadi wa lukua Kwa misa, thank you water salutatori Musadi wa lukua unari And then ripe Kwa misa, mpomurulan La ure, hey, san, hey, hey Neiva, come here You are not done, come here Hey, hey We want to translate what you were saying. Yes. Amanda, away to Amanda, Viva the EFF, Viva, Viva EFF, Labour Test, Viva, uh, Comrade uh, Commissars, Larry Cooper, Rilly Talusset. Or a government airing, you said you want to go, who respond to the airing, you put the issues in Tababeret. Musadi Wale Hoa, or a owner, a lady CEO, that the company tell the canon 13, tell them or a body to it. More issue, you are a battle, it's a worry, did the company tell in the fraud stars. Musadi Wale Hoa, or once buffet, that a report, who banally the charges. But on the list here for the Republic of South Africa. Musadi wale huwa ore. Muna ale amontwe li kanan 750,000. Ewa epate lang on a daily basis. And then ore. Bata meka show hor ba. And show our process say it a la kabunako. Ore ba bere ki va create chelte tabona. Ufile mutala. Ka kampanye ewa evita ngore ki LSE. Or a Babi Zikayona Company A. Mosadi Walhua Ape, Obulete or Modi issues in Telloring Ridi Razit, Bata Maker Show or Badi Adresa, Co EFF. Hi Baba Sadi Adresi Comrade, it means Rehabua Mo Department A. Arabo Ware Toware Mosadi Walhua Harizai, because the Babu is a EFF mark. Rehabu Wa Comrade. We are going to move now and we are going to be guided by the regional secretary because we were saying that we must move this way because Sasa is here. But this police are saying we can't be facing oncoming traffic because we are in a revolution and Sasa is here. The regional secretary is going to guide us in that regard. Amanda? No, Rialebua, Newa Lehua, Punches with Lagman. Masha Rialebua, Urori Facebook, Utu Adresa, the issues arena, Releka Moso, Aba Bereki Ba, Tabaco Patuso, Bulaminga Boya, Staffusa Department of Labor, Siskaba Arogan Tiko, Abereki Ralebua. Masha, Sabo Marakulu, one more thing that I need to declare to you, even your workers are conducting us as EFF. Please take care of your workers inside. Those labor inspectors, there are very few. They are servicing the country of 56 or 54 million. Make sure that you increase the staff in terms of labor inspector. They have a case. They want a case in CMA, but it was not processed in the level of the minister. They have come to me. I don't want to come and cause havoc here. Please resolve the issue of labor inspectors. I trust you very much. Fighters, after here, we continue straight to Pretoria. From Pretoria, every Peter go Prince, we can pass the bamboo tent, so we enjoy ourselves with our seat. From Prince Lu, I mean from Sisulu, we go up, we go to uh, Francis Park. At Francis Park, we turn left. We go straight, we are going to join to join. 
from Detroit we join Pretorius. Pretorius straight to Pink Second. So we're going to serve.